the Yanks are going through a tough time right now, dog. They can't hit. Hitting into double plays. Everything's in out. Um, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's just it's what's going to happen. At the end of the day, the Yanks are what? 52-29. and 29. So if you're going to lose games like this, you're going to be frustrated. It's going to happen anyway throughout the season. Every team goes through its ebbs and flows. If you have, if you don't believe that, then you know what? You have not been watching baseball enough. But we're here to help you out as long as you're not a half-stepper, bro. There's nothing that pisses me off more than somebody that's a half-stepper. Dead ass. People that don't ride for the team and expect everything to be peaches and roses, bro. It's not going to be like that. It's never been like that. Sometimes you're going to lose some games. Sometimes you're going to lose tough games. Sometimes you're going to win games. Sometimes you're going to win tough games. It is what it is. But you just got to understand sometimes, dog. Like, I had to cook a whole bunch of gremlins on Twitter, bro. Fake gremlins on Twitter because I had to let them know, bro. I got sick and tired of hearing people bitch and moan over how disappointing the Yankee team is and how bad the Yankee team is and all this shit. Bro, Yankees are 52 and 29 right now, fam. I could think of worse teams. Yes. I understand. Garrett Cole got rocked yesterday. He's still in spring training mode. Yes, I understand. Four through nine in the lineup are doing nothing. Yes, I understand. Glaber's not doing nothing. DJ's not doing nothing. I get it. Our catchers are not throwing anybody out. I get, I know it, bro. I'm in it with you. But to give, but to be in the middle of a season, being up two games now, I think one and a half because the Orioles won today. To be up in the division today on June 26th. And talking about, like, like this is an embarrassment of a team. Like, this is the worst team you've ever seen? You can miss me with that shit, bro. We haven't even gotten to the dog days yet. You're going to win 60, you're going to lose 60. It's what you do in between. The Yankees are still on track to winning 100 in, like, four games this season. What are we bitching about? Yes, we lost to the Mets. I was there yesterday. I wasn't happy. Yes, our, our bullpen looks like it's... Bro, bro, you're not as bad as what you look like when you're going bad, and you're not as good when you're going good. Trust me. This team is going to be there in the end, bro. They're going to fight. They're going to fight. This is the time when you start to tell what is the character of your team. What are you going to build? Are you going to let this shit enfold you like a lawn chair? Or are you going to come out on the other side and come out stronger for this? And this is something that you can draw from later on when you're going through a tougher time or when you're going through a possible tough time. And now you can deal with it because you as a team, while these are all professionals, a lot of these are veterans, you can be able to draw from this experience later on. People forget every year how long 162 games is. It's a grind 162 one game seasons i get it but bro i'm telling you right now you'd rather be a white Sox fan right now you'd rather be like whatever in the it, it, i mean any team any team pick a team you'd rather be a fan of right now bro and if you choose that team bounce bounce simple as that we don't need half steppers here bro it's simple as that there are issues are there issues with the team yes can we fix them let's hope so but to give up on a team on on june 26 it's egregious and you're not a fan you're not a fan let's go yankees love the energy joez love the twitter show of you putting them fake fans in their damn place Hey, thank you so 27 much. 27 outs, baby. 27 outs. Thank you so much. That's why I appreciate that. And I only mess with those kind of Yankee fans, bro. That That's serious. Take a time. Take a time. It's fine. Every team, even the World Series teams lost games, guys. The 98 team had a horrible September. They thought that they were going to, people thought that they were going to fold come October. And that ended up being the best team of all time. Come on, guys. I'm not even going to say we are looking bad, Pomba. I'm not going to say we because I'm not lumping myself up with those half-steppers. And I'm not lumping you up with those half-steppers either, bro. Get them out of here because we don't need them. We're not going to lump those dudes up. You know what I mean? Those dudes that are Yankee fans or whatever, complaining or whatever, call out the half-steppers, B. There's no Nothing wrong with calling out hey you know what we can improve here or being upset after losses is nothing wrong with that but to call this team dead in the water we're 30 games over 500 what are we talking about i'm frustrated just as the next guy i want the yankees to win every game i want the yankees to beat the mets ass you think i want to take my son to city field yesterday for the first time that he's ever visited that beautiful ballpark by the way we go out there and he sees the team getting smacked almost seen a comeback but it didn't happen bro come on now don't give up on the team now pinstripes on pinstripes 
strong. Real talk. 23 games. My bad. Let's not let, let let's not let's not get crazy here. There's teams that are teetering on 500. Barely at 500. Wishing for a third wild card spot. Yankees are in first in their division where the Orioles are good, chat. The Orioles are good. And people are talking about it. This is one of the worst teams of all time. Go Yankees, man. Go Yankees. Simple as that. And if you're not with that, half stepper, get the fuck out of here. Get out of our way. I don't want to see you at the parade, though. I don't want to see you at the parade, though. Guys, I want you to see something, man. For as bad as the Yankees are, the Orioles have lost five straight games. The Orioles lost five straight games. The Orioles did not capitalize. Yes, the Yankees are three and seven in their last ten. The Orioles are four and six. They've gained one game. <laughs> you know, they didn't capitalize, huh? For as bad as the Yankees have been, they're three and seven in their last ten. I mean, they looking like they're not about to win tonight either. But Baltimore has been just as bad as the Yanks. They've lost five in a row right now. Red Sox lost tonight. Tampa lost. It's not like the Yankees are like losing. If the Yankees are struggling, this is the time. If you think about it, if the Yankees are struggling, this is the time. The other teams are struggling too. Don't get me wrong. The um the ones that stand to gain the most from this were the Red Sox and Tampa. The Red Sox went eight and two in their last ten. The uh, Tampa Rays went seven and three. They gained some games. They did. Guess what? They're eight and a half back and twelve back, respectively. Guys, we're okay. Okay, we're fine. Yes, you would have loved for the Yankees to win all these games and extend their lead. Yes, but the world's not perfect, bro. It just isn't, bro. It just isn't. Look, I'll tell you right now. In this cup, all of these championships right here, or whatever it is, it's not even all 27. They've had struggle. They've lost games down the stretch. We could have been in a way worse position. And all that's a clip.